I have a question for you. Oh, okay. We didn't plan this. Go for it. Uh, what are you going to have for lunch in June 2025? In June 2025, uh, I would like to think it just before the summer holiday. So something light. Something light. Okay. Yeah. Can you fix the? Can you set that in stone for me? No, I cannot. Why not? Because it's June 2025. I, all I can say is that I would even say I would like. I hope I still have two children. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Very unrelated <laughs> to lunch, but <laughs> sure. No, my point is, you, I can't forecast. I can't forecast that far no. ahead. All right. So yeah. then, why do we need fixed roadmaps, Ryan? Why do we need fixed roadmaps? I don't think we do need them. No, exactly. Mm. Yet that is still a thing these days, unfortunately. Fixed roadmaps, so that staff knows exactly, mm. or stakeholders knows uh, know exactly what is going to be delivered in I don't know the upcoming year. God forbid it's sort of a five-year roadmap. Unfortunately, these still are a thing. Mm. Now, let me take you back to just a couple of years ago. I created a very nice year plan, yearly development plan for myself together with my manager, with some other colleagues. There were awesome courses in there. was looking forward to it. And then COVID hit. My entire year plan goes to shit. However, at the end of the year, we still look back at that plan and say, hey, what about this course? Mm-hmm. What happened to that? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you've been around, but we've had... You Things know, happened, didn't they, in 2021? Some, some shit happened. Yeah. Some, some did, yeah. yeah. Right? So it's the same with these roadmaps. They do not take into account all the variability that can happen in the meanwhile. Mm. So if you have roadmaps that are set in stone, especially for a longer term, the probability that they are not correct, the longer they go into the future, the further they go into the future, is pretty high. Mm. Maybe on the short term, we can relatively predict... Uh, what we can do or forecast, but these roadmaps longer than maybe I don't know two sprints from now, uh, let's say four weeks to mm. to I two months. I think it very much depends on your product as well, doesn't sure. it? If you're in a in a fairly well understood product space, you can have longer roadmaps, and it is a perfectly valid question for stakeholders and management and even the team to say what is going to happen in three to six months. But I often find my clients try to pitch these roadmaps as fixed, like you say, they they write them in a document, they make it. Uh, read only it's not editable no okay uh, they'll write final version on the top of it like it won't possibly change and they'll write it often in a linear roadmap as in here is now and here is later and obviously in most western cultures we read from left to right and that implies that things on the left happen first and then the things on the right happen my tip to you all if you're ever going to do a roadmap is do it in circles so you have now in the center you then have next a little bit outside it. And the reason why I'm saying circles and then later, obviously, on the outside is that things can come from different directions. It's not saying this thing, then this thing, and then this. It's not a sequence. It's, it's not a sequence. forecast of potential things that we might work on. If you want to know more, and we know you do, dear stakeholders, dear management, dear staff, come to our events, come to our sprint review, for instance, mm. and we can keep things transparent and work our way through. Mm. But if you still have to work with set roadmaps in your organization, stop doing those as soon as possible because they are the biggest lie ever. This is just asking your developers to work with crystal balls. <laughs> and I've put there, uh, you know, I have a nice lake house we can use. Why do they always happen at like really nice locations? All the management go off for a few days, free drink, free food, and it's always in a picturesque location. Maybe we're just a bit salty that we never get invited. Uh, mm, sure. Yes. Let's go to your <laughs> lake house. <laughs> Anyway, they end up in shadow boards, like uh, different backlogs where we don't really have access to them. So mm. we, we have set them in stone. They get fed into a place where, uh, into a place where they're carved like confluence yeah. and they start collecting dust. Yet at the end of the year, we will be held accountable for not making this roadmap. Mm. So do not plan as far as head, uh, ahead and make those decisions transparent with the data that's actually available. It's the transparency, but it requires courage for you to make them properly transparent.